Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another meal prep. We are gonna be prepping one lunch, plus I need to prep some taco seasoning. I've been out of it for a long time, so I finally had to replenish a few of my spices so I can make it up. Um, we're gonna do like two different snacks slash dessert. Um, and again, like I said, one lunch thing. So for one of the desserts, we're gonna do a protein pudding. And then I'm just gonna make some Jello, sugar-free Jello. I do have another plan for this, and I'll tell you that when I go to make it. And then the lunch this week is gonna be a taco pasta. I actually came across a couple of different recipes on Pinterest for this pasta, so I'm kind of combining three or four different recipes, but um, I, I'm kind of just making it my own. But I will link two recipes down below that I kind of base this off of. So first up is gonna be the taco seasoning because I need it for my taco pasta. So I have my empty jar here and I have a little jar that I'm gonna make this in. So first up we need two tablespoons of chili powder. We need two teaspoons of cumin. Half of a teaspoon of onion powder. A half of a teaspoon of garlic powder a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Now, if you don't want it spicy, you can leave this out. It's not necessary. Two teaspoons of salt. A half a teaspoon of black pepper. A quarter teaspoon of oregano. One and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika. Then you're just gonna mix this all up and then you're going to put it in your jar. Make sure you mix it up really well, get everything all incorporated. Now this little like funnel that I'm using, this came with my spice jars. I have two different sets of spice jars that I've ordered off of Amazon and these funnels come with them, which is super nice and super convenient for doing these spices. I absolutely love them. I use them all the time whenever I fill up my jars. They work really, really well. Really to eat, to clean, I just rinse them off really well. Love them. Anyway, so here is my taco seasoning. Yay. Um, I usually, I really should like double the recipe and then keep some in the cupboard. That way I don't run out. But here are all the ingredients you need. Absolutely love this. I have a whole video on DIY spices. If you want to check out that video, I will have a link down below. Um, but I make, a, I try to make all of my own seasoning blends, ex except for I did discover Kinder's and I love their seasonings. Next up is going to be a taco pasta. And like I said earlier, this is kind of a fusion of like two or three different recipes, but I will have two linked down below. I plan on having this at least twice for lunch and then probably for a dinner. And then I'm gonna see if my husband wants to try it since it doesn't have chicken in there, he can eat it. And we'll see if he likes it. But I did take a little taste of it and it tastes really good. So here is how I am making my version of this. First up, in a big pot, I did spray a little bit of cooking spray. We're gonna put in some chopped up onion and then some garlic powder. As you guys know, I like to use frozen onion whenever I can because I hate chopping up onions. It really hurts my eyes <laughs> really bad. I'm gonna add in some garlic as well, just a big heaping teaspoon of garlic. And then I have some red bell pepper that I chopped up pretty finely, and I'm gonna put that in there as well. I actually was gonna use green bell pepper for this, but my store was out of green bell pepper. Uh, but I was gonna use that because I kinda like the kinda tartness of the green bell pepper when it, and things like this. But like I said, my store was out, so we're gonna use red bell pepper for this. So we're just gonna go and saute that up, and I'm gonna cook it until the bell pepper is nice and softened and the onions are softened. Then we're gonna add in our ground beef. So I'm using this 96% lean ground beef. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the pan with the onions and the peppers, and we're just gonna stir this around and cook it until everything is all cooked through. Once it's all cooked through, I'm gonna go ahead and drain this off. For a 96% lean, this had a lot of fat in it, which is kind of interesting. So I did drain all the fat off. I have some fresh salsa here. I'm just gonna put in probably about a cup of fresh salsa. I don't recall what the original recipe is called for, but I'm just gonna do about a cup of it. Um, you could use like canned or diced tomatoes. You could use like Rotel would be really good, but I just like the taste of the fresh salsa. And then we're gonna add in our taco seasoning. So you wanna use about a tablespoon. I'm just gonna kinda wing it and just kinda put some in here. Um, but I would say probably about a tablespoon of the taco seasoning. And you could just taste it, you know, and just keep tasting it until it just has enough for you. What's nice about the homemade seasonings is, of course, you can control like the sodium because I feel like the um, packaged seasonings have a lot of sodium in them. 
So now we're gonna add in some chicken broth. We're gonna do two cups of chicken broth in this. So I'm gonna just pour that in there. This is a one pot meal. I don't think I mentioned that as well. Then we have our protein pasta. You can use whatever kind of pasta you like, but I love this protein from Brilla and I'm using eight ounces. So I did weigh out eight ounces because I'm gonna make this into four servings and a serving size of this pasta is two ounces dry. So I went ahead and weighed out eight ounces and just make sure you have enough liquid to cover your pasta. If you have more pasta or less pasta, you may need to adjust your um, chicken broth. And then we're gonna add in some black beans. This is my own addition to this. I just thought it would be nice for some extra fiber and a little bit extra protein in there. And my and black beans are zero points, so it's not adding anything to the actual bottom line point value because this is a little bit higher point, but I'm just gonna work around it and we'll make it work. And then what you wanna do is bring it to a boil and then we're gonna put the lid on there. And we're gonna let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. You're really just letting it cook until your pasta is all cooked through. So again, depending on what kind of pasta you're using and you know whether you're using like maybe chickpea pasta or the fiber gourmet pasta to cooks a little bit faster. So just keep an eye on your pasta. This protein pasta cooks like regular pasta pretty much. So it takes about 10 to 15 minutes or so to get all cooked through. And then lastly, the best part, we're gonna add some cheese. So I have this Velveeta Mexican blend. We're gonna add one cup of cheese to this. I really like these Velveeta shreds. Um, it's less points, less calories. I really like that. So we're gonna add down a cup of that on top and then we're just going to stir that in. Um, I already turned the heat off at this point. So we're just gonna stir that in until it gets nice and melty. Now, because this is pasta, I wanna make sure I am accurately weighing out and measuring this meal for my points because I have got to be get back on track and we're going to do really good with weighing and measuring this whole entire week. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my kitchen scale. I have a glass bowl here, everything zeroed out on the scale and I'm just gonna put that entire batch of pasta on this scale. And then what I'm gonna do is once I have my total amount, we're gonna divide that by four or just divide it by however many servings. And I like to do this with soup, with big batches of things. This is what I like to do to accurately figure out the calories and figure out the points. So I'm gonna take that 1,781, which it comes out to like 425.5 or something like that. I think that's what it was or 445. It might've been 445.5, but it was like an odd amount. But do what you wanna do with that. And then what I'll do is I'll just take then my individual containers and I am going to weigh them out. So you can do it this way or you can leave that whole big batch of pasta in there and you can just do the negative, like you remove it and you're removing the amount. But I just find this easier for me because I don't have to reset the thing so many times. I don't know. I just prefer to do this way. So we're going to measure out our servings now that we have our accurate serving amount. We're gonna do that with all of them. And then, like I said, this comes out a little bit higher points. It comes came out to 10 points. But again, I mean, and this is based on my personal points. So again, yours may be completely different. And you could make this less points by using like 96% lean ground chicken, which would be zero points, or you could do the 99%. Um, ground turkey and again that would be zero point so it would bring down the point value of this quite a bit if you did those substitutions but for me I'm just going to make it work for my day and if I go a little bit over the okay that's what weekly points are for. Next up we're going to make our protein pudding so I have this simply delish keto pudding and it's not really keto it's just sugar free so there's nothing in that makes it keto besides the fact that it's sugar free and then we're going to have our um, use a fair life protein shake and we have the pudding mix, and then we're gonna add in some peanut butter powder. So it's gonna be chocolate peanut butter protein pudding. So I'm just gonna do the whole entire thing of the pudding, and then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of the peanut butter powder. I'm using a half of a tablespoon measuring thing, so that's why you'll see me doing four of them. I just thought this would be really good. I mean, I've made this protein pudding, pudding many, many times, but I've never like, made like a chocolate peanut butter one. I thought this would be really good. And you know what would make this a really decadent dessert is if you had some of those Quest like peanut butter cups and you could take one of those and crumble it up and put it on top with like maybe some sugar-free Cool Whip. I'm not going that extreme. I don't think I have any of those peanut butter cups. I may, but I'm gonna have to look and see, but I don't think I do. But that would be another if you want to make this really decadent. So the secret to this is to whip it like crazy till you don't have any lumps. So just keep stirring and you could even throw it into a blender and do it that way. 
and I did mine into three containers. I think that pudding technically makes four servings, but it would be really small servings, so I'm just doing three, and that's what I even put in my recipe tracker was for three of them. So this comes out to two points for me, and then it comes out to 102 calories. So it's a nice, nice, easy snack. And then the last thing I'm gonna make is some sugar-free Jello. Again, I have the Simply Delish brand. This is black cherry. This smells so good when I was making it. Now, I've been seeing these like protein jellos where you can take jello and mix it with plain non-fat Greek yogurt, put it in the blender, and it makes like a really thick jello pudding type thing. And I'm gonna try that this week and see how it goes. But first you need to start off with some prepared jello. So just make this like like the um, box says, which you just put one of these in there, quarter cup of cold water, let that dissolve and then you're gonna add in a cup of hot water. And so I did that. And then I guess what you do to make it like a protein pudding, at least the two or three recipes that I've seen on Pinterest, and it makes it more like a mousse, you take one cup of this, and then you take that, you add that to like a cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt, and you put it in the blender and just mix it up, and then you put it back in the refrigerator, and it kind of turns into this mousse. I don't know. We'll have to try that this week and see how that turns out. Um, I think I have enough plain non-fat Greek yogurt to do that. So stay tuned for my what I eat videos and I will put that together. But that is everything for this week's meal prep. So as usual, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video and check out the description box for links to these recipes. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.